Hi, Pisces. So thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. I am not currently doing any personals. I'm sorry, you guys. However... If you just want to ask me a question or you want to check out my horoscope page again, everything still will be at the bottom. All right, so we have the high, ooh, the world card, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Pentacles. Are you guys starting a new relationship? Is there a bond going on here that may be very fruitful for you two? Seems to me like we have a couple, go, a couple either coming in or going in, but I mean a couple either coming together or strengthening. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody here who may have walked away from another relationship to be with you. Absolutely. I feel like that was supposed to happen because the relationship that this person was in might have not been the best um, relationship. Or this could have been you walking away from another relationship to have this relationship. However, somebody walked away to be in union with somebody else and I feel like it'll work for the long term. So, tell me how this person feels about Pisces. Spirit, please tell me how this person feels about Pisces. How does this person feel about Pisces? All right, Pisces. Let's see how this person truly feels about you. Page of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So, this person is not really sure about you yet. I feel like they're teeter-tottering. It's like they know that you could be somebody solid and stable in their life. However, they did just walk away from some bullshit. And they're still sad about that. This person is still healing from something from their past, okay? I keep hearing you are making them happy, though. And I keep hearing that song, I'll hold you down. Damn, all my cards fell. I'm on my way. So, this could, this could be somebody that is coming to your aid. You may be the one who is going through something. But if not, you may be aiding this person through something. You know? Somebody is holding somebody down here. So, let's get more info. Yeah, Two of Cups. This is a very strong connection, but somebody is not being honest. Seven of Swords here with the lovers. This person is still dealing with somebody else. Um, You may know that. But... I don't feel like that's cutting the connection any shorter. But this person definitely may be juggling you. I feel like they are with somebody else. It could be their emotions still teeter-tottering for somebody else, even though they're investing time into you. Not really sure if they want to open up completely to you about this. So let's see. Spread, what is the outcome for Pisces? What is the outcome for Pisces? Five, four cups. There's a sense of rejection and putting your guard up. I don't feel like this person is ready for what you're ready for yet. All right. I feel like they do make you happy, but a relationship with this person right now just may not be, you know, the it thing to do. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Be careful of getting your feelings hurt because you're investing too much into this person. All right. So let's see. Yeah, Spirit is saying, do what makes you happy, but keep your distance, all right? Don't don't get too emotionally attached to this person. It may be a sex-based connection or something that's new and just started with this full card and this page of wands. And it may be something that's just very sexual for this person right now. But again, remember that this person is healing and they may not be ready for a full-on committed relationship yet. Let's get one card from the Love Oracle. Love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, so thank you guys. Have a good one.